This is the old palette. This is the new palette. How do you think the new palette did? So hello and welcome to Dami Tries This and my crazy hair. It is being just nuts today. But anyway, I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is one of my Emily D. Maker coffee mugs. She is a commentary lawyer here on YouTube that I really enjoy. And we have been going through the Murdoch trial and that has been quite the ride. And the Emily D. Baker coffee mug, which I purchased for myself for once, I have from, you can see it peeking out behind the dragon there, um, my my advent calendar uh, tea. Uh, this is the Puka Mint Refresh. This has a spring of peppermint, fennel, and rose. Let's double check all these ingredients. It doesn't say. Well, wait a minute. Peppermint leaf, licorice root, sweet fennel, hibiscus flower, rose flower, coriander. This is, Puka gives you the percents. It also says 20% fair wild certified ingredients. Um, infuse up to 15 minutes. We all know I do a little longer than that. At any rate, we'll give her a sip and we will get started. I think this is a tea that I actually enjoyed. I just haven't bought any more boxes of it. So, because this this advent calendar is the second time I've had this particular advent calendar, which is why I've been a little slower about going through it here. Anyway, give her a sip. We will get started. We've already cooled off just a little bit because I've been fussing around with stuff. Okay, I think at least this point, there's a little too much sugar. The scent is very light. I'm getting the hibiscus. The peppermint is also very light, which is interesting because it is the first ingredient on the list. There's 50%, it should be a little stronger. Maybe it will be by the end of the video. Anyway, so yesterday, yesterday you got to see the try with the first palette, uh, uh, the, uh, Verona, the first Verona palette, which is this one here. And I'll talk a little bit more about it when we get started with the look. And you all know, just from watching yesterday, that I was really, really frustrated with it. So, how do you think it went today? Do you think this look was easy? Or do you think this look was annoyingly bad? You'll have to let me know in the comments before you get to the end. And in the meantime, if you are interested in this palette and my thoughts on it and how I did and this look, just keep on watching. Before we dig in, I just want to let you know that there shall be some house type noises going on. Like right now the dishwasher's going. I hope that won't bother you all too much being where I'm at. I have nowhere real place to like enclose myself away from all the noise. All right. So as I mentioned, we have two palettes. You all should have seen yesterday. Hopefully we tried the first one. This is the first one. And you can see hopefully where things have sealed up and don't look good. And if you recall, this is supposed to be a topper and it's sealed up. This is also supposed to be a topper and it's sealed up. The mats were great. The Anything that remotely related to a shimmer, this one really upsets me because this was a color that I thought was really pretty. And I think you can see some of the sealing there. Um, but uh, I think I mentioned, uh, I know I mentioned in one of my groups, excuse me, I know I mentioned in uh, DTT on Facebook that um, the Nomad was going to send me a second palette. Uh, they said that the glitters in this looks like the shimmers got pressed too hard and um, so they were replacing anybody who were having issues. You should be able to pick these up with a brush just fine. You should be able to pick them up with your finger just fine. 
So we're going to take this old one that has all the ceiling and all that. And we're going to put it back here where you guys can see it so that you know that I'm using the new one. I just have to remember to put that away somewhere at some point. All right. The other thing that I've done is I actually read a little bit more because um, I was using a wet brush. I don't think that that should be too much of a problem, but they suggested glitter glue, so I brought out my next primer, glitter primer. And then the other thing I did is I went ahead and I cleaned the eye brushes. I cleaned, they're clean, all right? So at this point, there should be nothing getting in the way of this palette, and we're gonna have to see if it actually works. Now, I do know that two of the shades I wanna play with are that, that pinky orange, and then also the Tragedy, which is that middle color, that purple there. The rest of it I'm not too worried about. There was quite a few mattes that I used. I'm not too worried about using the mattes. Uh, the mattes were fantastic in the old palette, so we are just going to uh, work with um, primarily trying to make sure that the um, shimmers do what they're supposed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick out some brushes and we will get started. I, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, 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 I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I really am. Are they gonna work? We shall find out. So I am gonna start with this um, lighter shade Paradise and put that under the brow. That makes perfect sense, right? Find the right kind of brush. I pulled them all out and now I can't figure out what I'm looking at. Floofy brush, hi floofy brush, my YC floofy brush. I'm gonna put that under the brow. Just getting that pink in there. I probably started with this color in the other look. I cannot rip for the life of me remember right now. We already have some eye issues showing up, so I don't know how well this is going to stay. But we all know it wasn't the inner corner things that were driving me crazy last time. I'm not getting a lot up the top. Come on, get up there. There we go. Just tap. You know, sometimes you do have to, to remove a top layer when working with stuff. I'm not going to add another crease color. It's just going to get covered up anyway. At least not right now. We'll get to that when we get there. Okay, uh, I don't know if I did this last time, but I am going to go over that pink with this topper. Morse? Morse? This is kind of goldy topper. Now, I am not expecting the toppers to actually pick up as well, or at least not be visible so well to me. Although, it, this one doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Come on. Come on. Okay, so there's a little in there. Trying to get rid of all of whatever's on there. Just adding a bit of shimmer there. I want that particularly under here, right? Right. All right. Because everything in the crease is going to get covered up. Okay, so I'm seeing it. She's coming up. I have to remind myself, toppers don't show up as well, which is fine. I have plenty of golds, of various shades of golds that can give me a gold, you know, totally a gold color. But we just added a bit of a, you can see it. All right, so we're already off to a better start. However, I will say that the stamping part appears to be sealing just a little, not the outer edge, but the stamping part, but anyway. I am moving, I'm doing one eye and mostly one eye. I should be able to remember this. 
and then um, I will move on to the other eye. So I am going to add the glitter glue and we're going to do the comedy like in the inner corner because I remember that was one of the places I was very upset because this is a, such a beautiful color. So, but I'm going to go further than just the inner corner. I'm actually going to take that all the way across to about two thirds before I start working with uh, tragedy. So those are the two colors that I was most upset that didn't work. So we are going to try to get them to work and we're going to use, go ahead and do what um, Nomad suggests. And I'm going to go ahead and apply glitter glue. So we are going to see if the glitter glue helps. Glitter primer. Hello, glitter primer. Yes, I'm gonna have to put this, you know what, I'm just gonna put the glitter primer on the inner part. And with tragedy, yeah, you can see I'm starting to lose a little bit in there in the crease. Um, and with tragedy, we will try it without the glitter glue. I wanna see how this works. Oh boy, we are really losing it in that corner. I thought it would behave today. The eyes have had a nice long break, but no, we are having issues. However, the glitter primer is in that corner, covering up that mess. All right, I'm gonna give that a minute. I'm gonna cross our fingers. <laughs> Let's see. So I brought a variety of brushes to try. I got a variety of these to try. I have a really stiff Luxy. I have a similar but not quite so stiff Loella. Don't need you. I have an even softer uh, Moda. And I have this another softer, well, kind of stiff, but it's in the middle of all these somewhere. This one is Lorella. So we have Lorella and Lorella. And I think, I think I'm gonna start with my Lorella. You know what, no, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Moda. I don't know if this, this particular formula needs a softer brush or whatever so we're going to try to pick some up again I am not well I'm seeing more than I did last time let's go with that definitely seeing more than I did last time definitely seeing more and we are going to Okay. Let's try the smaller, harder brush. I'm seeing ceiling again. Not as bad, but it's there. frustrated already folks this is so disappointing all right I am going to go and try the sponge tip we are seeing more color on the sponge tip than I did last time so maybe that'll help Okay, so I will say that with the sponge tip, this is working better than it did with the previous palette. I do not like this working with the um, glitter glue though. I mean, it is doing better. 
As I recall last time we had problems with just any color coming up. We had a, it was a lot of pink and I think I'm seeing much more of an orange pink shift there. But of course it is sealing up and I'm having to pull some up and scrape it up a little. It's much harder for me to get in that little crease I have in there when I'm using a sponge tip. But we are getting, I think we're getting payout, better payout this time in general. She's coming. I'm having to dab and pat, but the, and I am having to, um, pay attention to where it's sealing. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the small pink brush again, which is stiffer, to bring up some of that area that has sealed. I mean, I get it. Maybe, maybe, I, I would find it hard to believe that I managed to get two palettes that are both um, too hard pressed. But like I said, it does look like it is doing a lot better than it did last time. The formula is still not being as easy to work with as some of their previous ones. I think the overall application has come up better. Not as easy as Angela made it, but not as hard as it was the first time. We've got the full color of that shade on there. So that is to me an improvement, right? So wish I didn't have to fight it. So, all right. So for the other side, um, tragedy, uh, what am I going to do? We're not going to try it. Well, I saw them using some uh, looser brushes, so I'm not going to try it with a brush that's flat, that's stiff like that. I am going to find, did I even pull one out? I'm going to try it with this one. This is another Moda. This is short bristles, but it is very, very soft. So we'll see if this actually works better than the other did. I am not holding my breath at this point. I suspect I'm going to have to. Yeah, this is starting to seal up a little bit, but at the same time, I am picking up more from this one. And we're going to see how she does without anything on her on this outer corner. All right, so we're getting that undercolor, that gray undercolor. We are not getting much else. So despite the fact that things look like they're coming up, they aren't coming off. There she is just a little bit. But just a little bit. Um, all right, so this is going to be a no, I think. So I'm going to go back to my sponge tip and we're going to try the old fashioned way. <laughs> we're going to try the other way, folks. And um, I'm going to spritz the other end. Remember, we didn't spritz one side. One side we used the, um, for the inner part, we used the glitter glue. For this outer part, we're going to try spraying since we aren't, we're getting all the grays. And none of that beautiful purple. So, and like I said, it is starting to seal again. I don't know if you can see that right 
right where my little pinky is pointing. So, ooh, 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 that, that, that did something. Ooh, 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 okay. If you will work with my spray better, I will be happy about that too. There we go. I'm seeing something now. I may end up having to fight her a little bit, but get on there. Okay, so we are definitely getting better color application. And even though it is like packing down a little bit on the um, pan, where it is packing down, I can still, I can still pull up color. And I'm getting more of the glitter. More of the shine. They blended beautifully over here in, in the part where I'm working at now. They crossed over. Okay, I'm much happier with that. I don't know if you guys can see the purple in there, but there's a purple and kind of a brassy color in there. So, at this point, what I'm going to say is, we did get better. It did do better, I think, than it did in the previous palette that's sitting back there right now. It did do better. We're going to stay on the dark side a little bit, I think. We are going to use the color dark in our crease for our point, and then we'll use the color poison to deepen everything out. And then I will work on the other eye, and we will come back and we will talk. I hope. That's going to be for poison. start with that and then we'll use that for under the eye and see what that does and if this doesn't do what I want it to do Another Loella brush, we're going to start with this color of dark. It's, this is a very fluffy brush. It's a fluffy, fluffy, fluffy shader brush. Fluffy shader brush! And we are going to pick some of the fluffy colors, right? Okay. So, doing the whole... See, the, the mattes are, have not been a problem. I love that color. It's beautiful. I am going to take really quickly. Where did I put it? Ah! Slightly stiffer but still fluffy Sephora brush that I have. And we're going to try to define this crease a bit. Get that color in there. And then we'll use the fluffy brush again to sort of smooth it all out. So I'm very carefully sketching into that crease down there. Trying not to go too far and definitely trying not to cover up my orange. My orangey pink, that's so pretty. And then going up to the top and just really getting that color in there. Like that. And I don't want to go too, too much further because there is going to be a blue in a minute. I'm going to use the blue to really define things out. But I think we got enough of that color. And we're gonna go back to our floofy brush. Hi, floofy brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more. But we're going to sort of, yeah, smoother and blender out like that, right? 
Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is picking up some of that, that gold that we put over the top of that pink. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Actually, I think I will go down a little bit more with this. Just to sort of, there we go. Close it out. And we just won't go as far with the blue. And I think I need to touch up the lighter color pink right underneath the, right underneath the brow when we get there. All right, so I'm gonna take this Easy Crease Definer from, ugh. I wanna say Counterculture, but I don't think that's the name of it. It's a culture something, CC. The CC brush. I love this brush. I love the tank triangular tip. It's really, really nice for getting just in the crease and stuff. I, I want more of these. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to go and buy them. But they are not necessarily, you know, they're not necessarily cheaper brushes. Their brushes run a little bit expensive. So we're going right in the crease. Putting some of that deep blue right in the crease. We're gonna end that right there. Let it all blend out there. I'm trying to give us a nice line right there, right? And then we're gonna go and do little pointy things that I do, right? Slightly underneath the, the bottom. And we are going out and doing that. Okay, so I'm having to turn my head particular ways to see that purple on that outer lid, but it's there. And I will say, I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up that fluffy brush again, and I am just gonna smooth this. I'm not putting anything more on it. I am smoothing this all out and blending it all in, right in there where the blue and the, the grape color meet. All right, so they're blended. Blended. And then we're going to go along this edge as well. So it's blended a little bit. Then we're going to grab some more of that pink, go over those edges, those upper edges to brighten up right in here. We might grab some more of that gold too, but we're going to grab some more of this pink. And Lighten that whole area up, right? Just a little bit. I don't think we need more of the gold. I just need that pink to really blend into the, the grapey purple, right? So I'm getting that in there, I'm blending it out, and The uh, the shimmer and the glue are holding up really well to my inner eye right now for this moment, but there. All right, so honestly, I think we all can agree that that went a lot faster than the last time I did this. And it was a lot less frustrating. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye and then we'll talk about it, okay? All right, so let's take a really close look at this look. I will warn you, the inner corners are falling apart. I have found that uh, this is an issue. Uh, this is an issue I have all the time, but when I use glitter glue, it's actually a little worse. For some reason, uh, once that glitter glue goes, the whole thing becomes a bigger mess than if I'd rather have used the um, setting spray. So probably in the future with this palette, We'll get more into that, but probably with the future with this palette, I will probably not use the glitter glue because of all the issues that my eyes have. However, I will say for other people, this probably works out just fine with the glitter glue. Um, this is just my eyes being my eyes and already just weeping away at you. So we better go ahead and get their close up. But like I said, those inner corners are just messy right now. They are um, falling apart and just, just, Messy. I have tried several repairs. It's, 
my eyes. It's my eyes. And today it's my hair. Uh, it really is. Uh, it really is. It's, it's, anyway, it's a nice, it doesn't look as, um, frizzy as usual, which is nice. But anyway, so a couple of things that I did do, we will go through this. This is the difficult thing about this kind of setup is the mirror. So hopefully we won't get you too bad. Um, yarr. So I used this light blue completely under the, under my eye. I put a little bit of this, um, purpley color from the middle out and it created this really beautiful deep purple. It was absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm probably gonna try to mix these two colors sometime in the future. It was a beautiful. And then as you know, I used this blue on my outer corner, so I also used it underneath. The other thing I did is I took this topper and I went ahead and went over this area that was I was struggling to lighten up with the pink, with the matte pink. Uh, Cupid is another topper, like the gold, and it just seemed to brighten that area up for me. All right, so thoughts. Well, I, I think this palette, I think we all can agree this palette did better. Uh, <laughs> the new version, the new one that they sent me did better. That said, there were still some issues. I still have some minor sealing up going on in uh, comedy over here. However, um, unlike the old palette that's sitting back there right now, we'll go ahead and grab her. So if you look at the way this one has sealing, it's sort of speckled all over. This one, when she sealed, she sealed all in the middle and um, she wouldn't come back up or anything. I can take a brush which I'm going to do now, I can take a brush and I can bring stuff up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I am bringing stuff up. So even though there's some sealing on this one, and we're going to go ahead and try to fix our eyes again, uh, even though there's some sealing on this one, it is not as bad. Do some fix. Okay. So we don't waste the shadow, right? We don't want to waste the shadow. So as I was saying, even though there's some sealing on this one, it is not as bad. I am not fighting it as much. Uh, in Tragedy, it looks like it's sealed, but it didn't. It actually continued to come up. I did find that I had a better experience with a wet sponge, uh, with um, the sponge tips, with um, setting spray on them, than I did with brushes for these shimmers. I honestly expect that out of almost any shimmer anyway. Uh, that just seems to be a property of shimmers to me. Uh, the old palette, I don't think there's any, I don't know if you can see any ceiling. You can a little bit. For the old palette, this color, Juliet, with the broken heart, also sealed up when I was trying to use it underneath and to lighten up some areas. However, I did not have that problem with the new Juliet. So she came out really nice. The uh, toppers performed pretty much as expected, but also I had some sealing on the gold, but not on the pink. Uh, the mattes, as I've noted before, are beautiful. They're definitely Nomad mattes. They're, they work really well. Everything went easier and quicker this time. I wasn't as frustrated. So overall, I think the palette is a success in terms of it's comparison to the old one. So I will be keeping this one. I do not know what I'm going to do with the old one at this point. Uh, I would really hate to pass it on to somebody through Project Beauty Share, but in the end, that's probably where it's going to go. Uh, I won't use it. Somebody else might be able to work with it, but I just can't. And um, so I will probably pass the old one on and let the somebody else try to deal with it. I feel kind of bad by, about that, but I also don't want to throw out a $40, $54 palette. I mean, uh, 45, 54, somewhere in there. It was about 50 bucks, somewhere. A little lower, a little higher, somewhere in there. I don't want to throw out a palette that's expensive. I'd rather give it to somebody and hopefully they can get, um, figure out how to get it to work for them. It just didn't work for me. Uh, of the old one. So I got to figure out how to market. It's, it's now put away. I got to figure out how to market and then uh, what I'm going to eventually do with it. And like I said, probably Project Beauty Share. 
Um, but I will disagree with Angela Nyquist on it being a favorite palette. <laughs> I could see how this would have the potential to be a favorite palette if they had the shimmers that they were using last year before they came out with the Christmas palette. Those shimmers were so easy to use. These, not so much. Now they weren't, like I said, this palette wasn't as frustrating as the other palette. And I actually now like it at least a little bit. Uh, and I am willing to say that some of, some of the hesitation is probably because of my experience with the old palette. Um, but this will, I, this is not a favorite. The formula is not a favorite for the shimmers. The mattes seem to be the same. They're pigmented. They are soft. They work well in color. They just, I mean, they give you a lot of color. They work well with different kinds of brushes. Um, but the shimmers are just still a little on the problematic side for me. Uh, but like I said, I will be keeping it. Uh, should you buy it? I don't want to say yes, an outright yes, but I also don't want to say an outright no. It's it's a better palette than the one I got, like I said, but I don't think it stacks up to last year's palettes with the exception of the Christmas palette. It's definitely better than the Christmas palette um, from last year. But I, I honestly, I think the tropical palettes they came out are even better. Uh, they had some palettes from the previous year. Um, Whistler is better. Uh, the, just the way those particular shimmers work were better to me than these on here. So I don't see this as a favorite palette. It's um, a reasonable palette. I'm like I said, I'm not. I'm less unhappy with it. I think the the look came out really good. I think it was very much easier to put together and all the issues in here in the inner corner, I am not blaming on the palette. That is my eyes. I would have that with anybody. There. Anybody. So, uh, should you buy it? Up to you. <laughs> Completely up to you. I have no opinion for anybody else. Uh, do I regret buying it? I regret my initial experience. I think my opinion would be higher if the first palette had worked for me as well as this one did. That said, I still think that I wouldn't be as happy with this palette as I am with some of the others in the past. Will this palette prevent me from buying future Nomad palettes? No. I said on the last one, I probably would be more hesitant. I think this palette, while not as good as some of the other ones, is still fairly close to fairly close to most of those palettes that I really enjoy. It's just, it's not a favorite. It's the, whatever they did to the shimmer, shimmer formula, they need to go back to the other formula. No oh, bad, you need to go back to the other formula, really. Uh, but that said, so far, I'm not miserably unhappy with it. And I do think that some of my reaction and some of my feelings about it are reflective in my initial experience that you saw yesterday where I was really, really frustrated. This look did come together very quickly. It was very, it wasn't very easy to do, but it was easy to do, if that makes sense. Um, it wasn't, initially I was fighting a little bit, but once I got in there and got the hang of what I was doing, I was fighting less. This eye did come together much more quickly than this eye. I think also too, having taken off the top layer, uh, when working on this, I made it a little easier. So overall, she's an okay palette. She's better than a lot of palettes from other brands. She's not one of the best of Nomad palettes. So let that uh, determine your judgment on whether or not you're going to want to buy it. All right, so that is it for the day. If you have not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. You know, do all the YouTube things, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things so that you can help this old dragon out. And we're going to taste our tea and we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. I have another one to film. I have another one to film. So, all right. So this is our puka tea. It has been in here for at least 15 minutes. Will we get more mint? Let's find out. There is more mint. This is
is a very light and delicate mint tea. And my sugar is still a little too strong. Um, I'm going to say this is not a tea I would purchase again. I do not like mint that overpowers, but I do not like mint that I have to search for the flavor of, if that makes sense. It's a nice tea. If you like a uh, very light and delicate mint, this will probably work for you. I don't think it works quite so much for me. Anyway, that's it. Hope you have a good one.